in Japan, a population case study. Let's take a look at some demographic facts about Japan. The crude birth rate is 7.7, crude death rate 9.8, which means the na natural growth rate will be minus 2.1. Total fertility rate was 1,410. Life expectancy in Japan is very high, with an average person living 85 years. Infant mortality rate is low, with 2 deaths per thousand born. The GNI per capita is $41,300. Population density is 336 people per kilometer square. Let's take a look at some demographic trends of Japan. First, life expectancy. Life expectancy in Japan did not grow much with an average per in the 1800s with an average person living 36.6 years. But then it goes down because of World War I and drops further in World War II because of the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But after World War II, you can see a sharp increase in, J in Japan's life expect expectancy. And now Japan has the highest life expectancy in the entire world, with an average person living 82.3 years. Child mortality rate. The child mortality rate in Japan used to be very high because of less development and poor facilities. But it then it started to reduce as the economy improved and as well as the facilities. But then it goes up again because of World War II. Japan now has the lowest child mortality rate in the world with two dead per thousand born. Japan's fertility rate. People used to have more babies earlier because many people did not live beyond 35 years of age. <coughs> Child mortality rate increased again because of World War II, so people are having more kids. But then in the early 2000s, the, Japan had the least fertility, lowest fertility rate ever. But after some time, fertility rate started to increase again as people started to know that the workforce was declining and was getting outnumbered by the dependent population. The GDP growth. Earlier, Japan's GDP did not grow much and dropped because of World War II. But now Japan has the third largest economy in the world. Population and relief. As you can see, the mountainous region of Hokkaido is the least populated on map number two, whereas cities like Tokyo and other places in Japan that are more developed are more densely populated because people move to places where there's better health facilities and education facilities. That's why major cities like Tokyo are the most densely populated in Japan. Let's take a look at some population pyramids of Japan through the ages. 1960 in, in 1960, Japan was in stage 2 of the demographic transition model, which means higher death rates and slightly decreasing death rates. As you can see, birth rates were very high in 1960. The workforce was larger than the dependent population. There were very little people who lived beyond the age of 65, and the high birth rates meant that the working force would be larger in the future. 2010. As you can see, the number of birth rates had decreased drastically. This makes Japan the fastest aging country in the world. The dependent population is now evened out or outnumbered by the working force. In 2016, number of people, if the number of people and kids decline continuously, people who are considered senior citizens or are above the age of 65 will comprise of most of the population. The working force will be less than a dependent population. If this continues, this could lead to the fall of the Japanese economy. <coughs> immigration in Japan. Immigration, some Im here are some immigration facts. There were 2.23 million immigrants in Japan as of 2015. Even though Japan has a strict immigration, anti-immigration policy, as many as 30% of people living in Japan are immigrants. Note that all of these immigrants came before or during World War II. Fourth, Japan is one of the hardest cities or countries to become a citizen of, as the approval of one application takes a year or more. 
and the last, the net migration rate of Japan is 0 0.56. Why, so why do people migrate to Japan? Because it's safe and the crime rate is 0.3%. There are better job opportunities in Japan and the cities are better developed if you're coming from a developing or a third world country. Population plan. Here's what Japan needs to do if it wants to even the workforce and the dependent population. It needs to expand its cities so that there will be more jobs which will attract immigrants who can help even the dependency ratio. Encourage families to have more kids. Make some ads that show why people should have more kids. Make education cheap, easy and accessible so that all people can afford to send their kids to school. And also allow immigration, ease the immigration policies so that other people from other countries can come and bring some relief to the aging population. Thanks for watching.